Life Shield doesn't really offer a whole lot either as far as clearing waves besides just kind of taking them down one by one and building in that extra bit of farm. And now with that Shadow Demon to book grab. It back to the well, but oh, Shotchelo here. Open wounds, Man. chilling touch again. He'll get oh cold-footed, and oh, this is your first Oh, water. he isn't... thought he was going to get it, and he pulled back. He's got to go first way deep for this. Got it. There you go. <laughs> Off in the jungle so he can hop back on that on reserve and build up uh -oh, your Blink Dagger. But yeah, mid lane, they're going to keep the pressure. She tries to cross the river. There's your cold feet. It lands. One more auto attack, and they get it done. Another. Oh, at least here. We'll go to the Centaurs. Pedrino tries to find some recovery farm. Needs to be a little careful. He'll use his Ancient Apparition to actually tank the Seder. And this is soon to be a hero. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! Centaur! Oh, what wow. He's smoked up in the mid lane. Blink Dagger at the ready. Joining his buddy Death Prophet. He's got an ultimate here, and they'll go right in onto Weeha. Plenty of damage to bring him down. Even Familiars adding to the early harassment disruption. Familiars here as well. Looking to lock down Centaur with no Stampede. He's going to have a hard time getting away from this one. The ghosts are out and Centaur is scared out of his mind. Uh, making that gank all the easier for the Prophet is up top. Uh oh, Viper, he could be in some trouble here as Drill Ranger comes in, drops the silence, throwing out the right clicks, and there's your Stampede. He uses his mech, and it might be Drill that actually goes down instead. Solitude doing a lot of damage. We just sick wants to find the recovery kill. Easy, easy setup. Slows him down dramatically with the Viper strike. Mid lane. Shot it out, but mid lane, yeah, to make it go on in. They're kidnapping Weeha, and, and there's your right there. Is she going to pull out the Yules? She's Hockey. looking in. There it is. Yules follow up in the silence. And they're starting Very to nice. There's that your Bat Rider. Rider. Blink and Viper. He's going to get pulled into no man's land. He'll go down on the low ground or will he? The mech keeps him alive. Now Sinenko gets jumped on by the Centaur. Pedrino will be able to find a kill there. Anki still fi uh, finds a kill on the high ground to finish off the Viper. Centaur going deep here, trying to chase down the Dro, but she'll be able to blink away. The Ice Blast will fall short and Centaur may still well survive. Shotcho on the other side of it. Uses the Yules on himself as he gets initiated on and yeah, that'll be the end of it. They're picking out hard on this mid lane death prophet. Ice Blast is going to lash up and stampede and him instantly blown the hell up. That missed his flare. Also the shadow. You can see you later, but oh man, she actually lived. That triples her damage, and uh oh, Centaur's down here. Who's gonna get the jump? He doesn't have a stampede up quite yet, and they'll jump on the Centaur. It's Cheshire Cat in the front lines. He's trying to go blow for blow, oh, and Petrino, man. he's gonna be silenced. He's gonna be cut down by the Frost Arrows, but now Weeha, he wants vengeance. The Centaur will buy back, uses the ultimate to get Weeha in position, but Cheshire Cat, nice. he's still living for now. Will this be successful? Ice Blast will be off the mark. They'll find the Shadow Demon, and they'll find the kill there. Mystic Flare softens up Cheshire Camp. It's still on the run. Now Shot joins the party. The Exorcism's been used. j is here, catches Hockey inside of the lasso, and the rest of uh, the BBC will make it down into the tree line. Weeha, very low, toggling that armlet, and will be able to survive unless can Shotchlo find him in the lane. The surprise inside, Big Brad coming for the turn. There's your hoof stomp. There's your fest bomb. Nice. He'll bring down the death. Profit now, BBC turning this around. We just zick gets dropped. And I've got anyone. They've got the surprise inside. Pedrino's on the hunt, finds we just zick. Hoof stomp, but Boy Staff will keep him safe. The silence only connects on the centaur. Uh, Weeha was raged out. Now they'll go in onto Pedrino. Centaur falls, and now the rest of BBC, they're not scared to take this fight. Hockey going in, he's got the eggs. So he's just throwing out Viper Strikes left and right for the side. Maybe I should TP out of here in the middle yeah, of the fight. That sixth slot. I mean, maybe he wants to play safe. KB. I was going to say, if you want to play safe, play. BKB, but he hasn't been caught out too much. But speaking out, they make a move on in. X is going to be popped. There's your last. We're going to catch on Centaur. Want to be able to burst him down quickly. Drow is going to town at the right clicks. Pulling out Mask of Madness, though, and you can get bursted just like that. Maybe you should consider a BKB, my lady, as she gets taken down immediately. PR drop two, and this is the moment where PR doesn't want to be throwing too much away here, but Death Prophet also falls. They get three. BBC come out on top with this strong defense. Oh, Batrider, don't go anywhere, buddy. They slash it home in more scary form. Yeah, it looks like a skirmish may break out in the jungle. He walks right into the danger zone. He gets a ward down before he falls, but Eek, not really. Where he wanted to be. The follow up though. BBC, they'll go hard on it. They bring down the uh, draw as well as the Bat Rider. Does the Weeha, but look at who's circling in from the left hand side. It's Centaur. He jumps in. He sees the King Bird himself. Visage with Visage. It's a very nice dis defensive disruption pops out from your demon. But here it goes. They're going to clash right now. Look at all the BKB for this one. Drow now looks to unload. Viper. Oh my god. Hockey doing so much damage in this fight. They'll finally lose their A's. Petrino maybe going a little bit too deep. They've got a lot of low health. They're moving on forward. 
forward. This is going to be a clash right here. Oh, Jump on he in. finds the Master Bird. We just zig. He'll get bursted down. And the disruption actually misclicked. Will be an aggressive disruption. Shadow Demon will lose his life. It's a quick two for nil here. Scoop those. That was, that was a lot of risk. But all that thought is Bat Rider goes right in with the Padrino. There's your ultimate from the Death Prophet to land the right clicks. But this Centaur, pretty damn tanky off to the side. Dro land the right clicks. E Blade on the Padrino. Keep him alive a bit longer. Still the first to go down. They'll end up losing their visage to boot. Buyback from the Centaur now as the fight continues to break out. Dro will blink just as Centaur Stampede blinks to try and bring her down. Solitude doing a lot of damage to Shot Tool, but he'll eat that yummy cheese. Fills up the belly and the HP pool. Power Rangers looking pretty solid in this fight. Now a buyback on. Yeah, I mean, they don't have a way now to get the Dirk. Oh, next to Courier. It's a fall. No, car, no, no cargo, obviously. Maybe just kind of delaying it out, but he's trying to get in there somehow. The Centaur not around. We have a hard time without getting kited about now. Skyrath Mage pulls out Ghost Scepter to get away. We also potentially caught out. Long Soul oh. Suction, and he goes down. He does have buyback to get back into this one. He's going to need to use it because their base is going to fall real quick. And he does. He pulls out the buyback, and they're looking to go on the Assault right now. Viper now, the target, the focus. He's getting attacked from top and bottom. And this is what I'm talking about. The heavy range and the heavy damage of PR. It proves to be too much. They're sieging on through, and I think they're about to put the lid on this game. Yeah, this should be GG. Shotlow held his ultimate so long in that fight. Now they have it just to truck the structures. I think they can go straight for the win if they're so inclined. Both Centaur and Batrider stuck in the grave. No buyback, nor on the Ancient Apparition, and that'll be it. The Vulcan Bears will tap out. Power Rangers find their first win in their third game of the summer by G2A.com EU group stage. What a match, though, Coddle Guy. A nail-biter till the end, and it seemed like Power Rangers had the scarier draft, but Weehawk gave them a run for their money with some keen initiation and keen items. I'm really surprised how much they were able to stick in it for that one. I mean, it, it looked like it was going to be a Power Rangers match from top to bottom, but they, it got real scary there in the mid-game. Yeah. There was you know, a moment.